Have you ever smelt something and was instantly taken aback by how familiar it is? It's a familiar smell your body can recognize, but only a tad. You stand still, close your eyes, and take in the scent and try to focus your memory on where it's trying to take you. But you can't. All you can recognize is that you know the smell. You know its scent and nostalgia washes over you. But what are you nostalgic for exactly? These days I've been letting a lot of vague memories and wishes fall over me, capturing me in its sticky web. I've been having a hard time trying to focus on what I want to do and have been feeling as if life wasn't really life. The days have felt as if I was watching someone else's life from afar. I see my body walking and laughing and creating, but it's not truly me controlling it. So, I decided to take this weekend to try and rejuvenate myself, take back my body, take away the heavy thoughts that have kept me idle the past few weeks, and just enjoy the presence of living. I just wanted to say that um, I was watching a video yesterday and I was, it was like completely unrelated to anything. Like it was probably like a Berlizzi video. And then I was just thinking, I was like, why do I follow so many people that I don't talk to or I don't gain any like inspiration from or people that I would prefer not to have in my life? And I decided that right now I'm going to go through my contacts, my Instagram, Snapchat, all that stuff and just clear out people who just don't really align with my energy. And I know like in the past I would always keep them just to, you know, keep tabs on what they're doing in their life or like if in, if they would ever talk to me again, but I, I really don't see the point in doing that because it's not going to happen and I don't I personally don't have the urge to talk to these people I already know that they don't have the urge to talk to me so I'm just gonna clear them out and then I feel like it's gonna it's gonna feel good once I do it just to get rid of that like fear of missing out or putting energy and attention on things that don't bring any value to your life so yeah i'm gonna i hope that made sense like i don't want it to sound rude or anything but like they're just i just don't want them in my space anymore so later on i decided to go to the mountain to get to the mountain you have to walk through a beautiful relaxing trail i enjoyed my walk but when i got over to the mountain the weather said yeah, we're gonna crank it up 10 degrees, <laughs> and my plan to lay down on the mountain was shattered. I really don't enjoy the hot weather, and I thought it would be a lot cooler today, so I turned my heels and headed back to my car, blasting the AC the second I got in. Um, yeah, I'm not at the point where I can like take videos in front of people So I'm just gonna pretend that I'm talking on the phone when in reality I'm just trying to avoid people's eyes on me 
it's really difficult for me um, when I feel burnt out or when I feel not motivated it's really difficult for me to re-motivate myself even when I'm being productive I'm still it still feels as if someone else is controlling me like I'm not controlling me and stuff like that so I'm just really glad that I was able to get myself back into shape and everything and or I get myself out of that rut that I was in and I feel a lot better about it I wanted to do something different with my channel a little bit like I don't want every single video to be about fashion and stuff like I love fashion but I feel like that's not the only thing that I enjoy doing you know and I want I said that this channel is gonna be about everything that I want to do and so this is like the first stepping point to do that and to show who I am you know I don't want to just be someone fake online I just I want this to be genuine I want this to be inspirational for people I want this to be motivating for people I want to show who I am as a person and everything and this is my step forward into doing that My boyfriend and I headed over to a haunted house that evening with my family and enjoyed an early spooky Halloween evening. Oh no! <laughs> In 2016, I told my friend a story about my childhood one day, about a purple ceramic butterfly I made my mother when I was small. I told her that my mother hung the butterfly on the top of the entryway in one of her old houses or apartments. I can't recall, we moved around more times than I could count. One day, I wanted to see the butterfly closer, so I reached for it after climbing on a tall chair and grabbed it. I lost my grip on the butterfly and it shattered on the floor. My mother wasn't angry, but we were both definitely sad about it breaking. A couple months later, my friend presented me with this beautiful ceramic piece she crafted in her ceramics class. She said it was inspired by the story I told her about the butterfly. My breath was honestly taken away, and it's one of the gifts I cherished the most from my friends. There are some stories that I will tell my friends just to tell them, but it always surprises me and fills my soul up with love when they remember the stories I tell them or do things like this. I truly cherish the things people give me, whether it be a handwritten letter, a journal with pages that are too beautiful to ink, or a bass guitar that has collected a bit of dust. My favorite gift of all, though, is time. Time spent together, time talking together, time walking together. Those small moments of being around one another are my absolute favorite. You've given me a gift as well, your time. And I know I've stated before that I was working on a better gratitude video, which I am, I still want to say thank you and that I'm so grateful for you for giving me your time and energy watching my videos. I don't think that the videos I've created so far are that special or unique, but it always touches my heart to hear your kind words and it always motivates me to continue to create. 
That evening, I made a wonderful pumpkin pie and mac and cheese, both 100% vegan, and it tasted so good, even though the combo wasn't the most favorable due to me loving healthy foods, naturally. But it's okay to indulge whenever you feel like doing so. It's about making yourself happy and having a balance. After eating, I decided to wind down and journal since I haven't journaled in over a month now. I listened to one of my favorite records and gave thanks for a beautiful, slow weekend.